Hi there, my name is Scott McDonald, and in today's video I wanted to share a full body warm up that's been designed specifically for tramp wall. Warming up your muscles before training or performing is really important for both safety and career longevity, especially given the potential impacts and risks that come with any form of acrobatics. With that in mind, just remember that everyone is different with their own strengths, weaknesses, and underlying medical conditions, so if anything feels painful or wrong when you're doing this workout, please stop and consult a medical professional. All disclaimers aside, this warm-up sequence was shown to me by my friend Lo Yi, who is an incredibly talented tramp wall artist that's performed in a number of shows, including Cirque du Soleil's Volta. Our friend Catherine joined us for the warm-up, but given that it was the first time either of us had ever done this, I recommend watching and copying Lo, who's in the middle, to get the ideal technique. I've left links to both Catherine and Lo's Instagrams in the description below, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoy this follow-along tramp wall warm-up. Okay, we're gonna do three inhales and arms come up, and exhale, arms come down. One, two, three, arms are gonna come back up, and we're gonna lean back slightly and pull our arms into goal post here as we exhale. Two, three, arms are gonna come to the side, and we're gonna hug a beach ball, and then open back up. Hug a beach ball. Open. Hug a beach ball. Open. And now we're gonna reach our right hand over to the left side and stretch out our obliques. Two and three. Okay. Now we're gonna dip down here, and both legs are gonna bend, and we're gonna keep this hand up. And we're going to try and reach with this hand as we come up, and you should feel a stretch here. You feel it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Same thing on the other side. It's almost like you're getting pulled up by it. Yeah. Two. Last one on both sides. Three. Okay, now we're going to go chin to chest and back up. Look side to side. And ear to shoulder. And now we're going to do backward shoulder rolls. And forward shoulder rolls. And go back again. And then figure eights, however you prefer to do that. <laughs> okay, and now ears come up to your, or shoulders come up to your ears and then drop it down. Drop it down. All right, beach ball arms again, and we're just turning here. And we're gonna turn the side, front, side, front, side, front, side, front, side, front. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go into plie position. We're just going to try and like grow taller as we get as we plie down. And so we're going to just dip down and up. And down and up. Down and up. Down and up. And then stay down. And we're going to do just a little pulse. Yeah. Okay, stay down, and now we're just gonna pop our right foot, and then come back down. Pop right foot, come back down, pop right foot, come back down, and now stay up, and now pulse. Okay, same thing on the other side. Foot, down. Wow, that was crazy. That's the one that has two screws in it. Yeah, still? Oh yeah, they're never going out. Stay up, and pulse. Why not? No reason to. I don't feel them for anything. Back and forth. Keep your head still. So it's just in your legs. Nice. Okay. Now we're going to go into a squat, like shoulder width distance, however, whatever squat position you want. And we're just going to squat. Up. Two. Three. Four. Stay down. And pulse. Okay, 
Okay, same thing. Pop that right foot and down. Pop and down. Oh, my legs are sore. <laughs> I hit legs yesterday. Okay, and now pulse, keep it up and pulse. Other side. Keep it up and pulse. Uh. Yes, my socks. Okay, back and forth. Okay, that's enough of that. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hands on your hips and knee lifts. Warm up those hip flexors. So good. And give a nice little sweat. <laughs> Comes out to the side. Give that some sense. And now every time your knee comes up, your arm is gonna cross in front of your body. So yeah. <laughs> Don't speed up too much, Scott. Never. Just need a metronome. Okay, now arms up. Yeah. Okay, now hold your arms up, keep the knees going. And now every time your knee comes up, your arms are gonna come down. Oh it's so hard, it's hard, right? Nice. Arms stay up, behind the head, and cross over. Sound another crack. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Um, now we're gonna bend down in the pike and just bend your knees and like sit and squat and then come back up. Bend your knees, come back up. Bend your knees, come back up. And walk your head forward into downward dog. That's this one, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And now you're gonna come forward into a plank. And back into downward dog. Forward into a plank. Back into downward dog. Forward into a plank. Drop your knees. Pull your hands back so your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Right hand behind your back. It doesn't have to like go far, just rest it there. And we're going to inhale and turn our bodies this way, but we wanna keep our hips facing downward. So inhale and turn. And then once we get to the end, take one last little inhale and try and turn just a little bit more. Nice. Exhale, come back to neutral. here so most of these exercises what we want is this double chin position and so right now when you're laying on the ground you feel like you have this um, uh, curve in your neck here so we want to put our chin into a double chin and then kind of push back so it feels as if we're getting rid of that gap mm -hmm. you got that mm -hmm. all right so we're going to try and hold that and we're going to roll forward starting from the top of our spine all the way down as far as you can, I guess. And so you're gonna look down, keep the double chin, and look down your stomach, and come into a little crunch. And then when you come back down, you wanna roll down one vertebrae at a time. Put your hands on your knees, and then you're gonna let your hands come up your knees as you do it. And then come back down. Um, I usually just go until my neck hurts and I can't do it anymore. 
um, like the front part of my neck. So but we'll just do like 10. The whole purpose of the exercise is that neck position now. So I think that the main focus, not necessarily the crunch or how far up you're getting. same motion, but you're going to pick up your left foot and just hold it straight. Yep. So same exact thing. Neck position, crunch, and you can hold your hands a little bit higher. Yeah, very good. Are you letting the backs of your shoulders come off the mat? Are you keeping them there? Uh, I'm letting them come off. But that's very up to like where you're at of like, can you get up that far while keeping the head position? So keep your uh, chin tucked the entire time. And you can switch to your other leg now. Mm, yeah, keeping it tucked on the way down in particular. Obviously, in playing position, you squeeze everything, but really think about pulling your elbows to your to toes as you're in it. Okay. And then I do wide feet because what we're going to do is we're going to reach forward with one hand at a time. Okay. And you don't want to sway side to side. You want to try and stay flat. Okay. Um, and then also the entire time, keep that tucked chin position. Okay. So we're here. And instead of like normal chin out or like head up, we're gonna look straight down and then pull that chin back. Okay? Um, and just try and get, I don't know, three reach forwards on both hands. Okay, now put your feet together. Keep that chin tucked and just lift each leg. Okay, and drop your knees. And then we're gonna come to the side. And just in a side plank. So squeeze your butt and squeeze your, your here. Whatever that is, you got it. Okay. Right. Yeah, and we're gonna clamp, keep your neck tucked. Yep, and clamshell. So open your, that leg. Yep. Chin tucked. Yeah. And now we're going to go back to the center and switch to the other side. So keep that chin tucked and then clamshell. Two, three, four. Good. Um, and again, I usually will do two rounds of all of these. And when I'm going through, I'm going through quickly, but I will do those until I can't do that mm. anymore. And I will do these mm -hmm. until I can't do them. Like I just burn out all of them. Fair enough. Um, okay, next we're gonna grab a band. Thanks. And we're gonna put it around our wrists. And we're gonna scoot forward. Have you guys bench press before? Yep. yep. Okay, again, the main focus of all of these exercises is to keep that chin tucked. 
So we're gonna put our shoulder blades down, tuck our chin, and then lift our legs, put the butt back down, and now we're in that um, bench press position, whatever you wanna call it. Um, we're gonna open the band, and we're gonna bend our elbows, and you want that band to come just above your nipples, just at your nipples, and come back up. Keep that chin tucked the entire time. end of the full exercises. Okay, so the next one we're going to put the band around our head. Okay. And you're going to hold it at like a 90 degree angle here. You don't want too much tension. Okay. Um, but you don't need too much tension on it. Yeah. And then you're going to pull your chin back into this like that double chin position. Right? And we're going to raise our core and we're just going to try and put a little flexion in that upper back. In what way? So try and lift all of this mm -hmm. up, but only from here. You don't want to use your lower back. And so when you're doing it, mm -hmm. okay. it's going to be here. Mm -hmm. And it's just that upper back movement okay. to put movement in the upper back as you're keeping the double shin. Yeah. I usually do like 20, but as many as you can until everything starts to hurt. <laughs> Two. exercise is to keep the chin tucked and then to have your shoulder blades engaged the entire time okay. so we don't want our lats to take over it's all here that's engaged and we're going to spread it apart and you want your wrist to stay outside of your elbows right so get that tucked chin position and we're just going to come up here and down do five of them two Three, four, five. And now we're gonna go all the way up to straight arms. And if you can, shoulder flexion. Yeah, keep that chin tucked. And then back down. Up, and shoulder flexion. I do that with my scapula instead of my lats. Is hard. Uh -huh. Everything is cheating right now. Up and shoulder flexion. Okay, that one's difficult. The next one, keep the band around the wrist. Wrist. Um, the chin tuck stays throughout all of the exercises. So chin tuck, bend over, arms hang, and go out with your arms. And we're going to row back, and you want to squeeze here. Press squeeze here as you're pulling out. Yeah, but you see right now your chin is here. Yeah. So you want to put it down and tuck it back the entire time. Sweet. Thank you. Good job. Good job. So yeah, hopefully you feel warmed up and ready to go, but if you have any personal favorite exercises that you feel should be included, please let me know what they are in the comments below. Until next time, good luck, happy training, bye.